The Kaimichi Railroad, a Class 3 Genesee and Wyoming Company railroad, operates on nearly 264 miles of railroad track in three states, Arkansas, Texas, and most importantly, Oklahoma, my home state. The Kaimichi Railroad mainline runs between Medill, Oklahoma to Hugo, Oklahoma, where their headquarters are located, to Hope, Arkansas. Along the way, they have many connections to Class 1s and Class 3s, these railroads being BNSF and Medill, Union Pacific and Durant, DeQueen and Eastern and Valiant, Kansas City Southern at Nashdown, Arkansas, and Union Pacific again in Hope, Arkansas. The Kaimichi Railroad also operates north and south between Antlers, Oklahoma and Paris, Texas through Hugo, though a train hasn't run to Antlers in years. Today we will be taking a look at this wonderful railroad from the eyes of my camera throughout the years. I hope you enjoy this video, and I will be popping up throughout this video to share more information along the way. I hope you enjoy. Throughout this video, you'll see some pretty interesting locomotives, but my favorite one is Kaimichi Railroad number 4080, which is an ex Sioux Line SD40 2. This locomotive has an interesting history being from the Sioux Line, and it's just probably my favorite locomotive in the roster. Kaimichi Railroad headquarters in Hugo, Oklahoma. We come out here pretty often because we have some family out east of Hugo, so we have quite a few clips from here including shunt action and all that stuff. Some extra videos at this location are down in the description and they may be popping up in the top right hand corner. Maybe wondering, Braden, why are you showing us BNSF trains? I thought this was a Class 3 video. Well, I mean, those are Class 3 trains. Those are the Kaimichi Railroad 700 trains that operate with BNSF power. Those trains run from a dill to a power plant in Fort Townsend. You can learn a little bit more about these trains in a video that should be popping up in the top right hand corner of this video. that locomotive you can see my good friend Evan Comis 
This is pretty much the Evan Cummins documentary, as I told him. He asked me if I wanted an autograph. I'm still looking for that autograph, Evan. <laughs> but yeah, uh, he's really nice. He lets me know when a train's coming through, so he's in most of these clips. Enjoy. trains aren't the only thing that Kaimichi uses the big BNSF power for. No, they are now running unit grain trains and unit tank trains to be cleaned just west of Hugo, I believe. Uh, so here you see a giant BNSF Jivo and a CP Jivo. It looks crazy behind those tiny little class 3 locomotive, but uh, this was an interesting chase.
Hey guys, it's Brayden here. I hope you enjoyed today's video. This video was just a video that I've been wanting to do for a long time. I love this little short line, and you know, I just can't wait to see what they do in the future. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please go like, comment, and subscribe. And please consider becoming a channel member for just a small price of $5. I know you don't get a whole lot right now, I'm working on that. But it'll help me make more content like this for you guys. I really enjoy making videos like this, and I have some really big stuff coming up in the future, and a little bit of monetary help would, you know, just kind of push that a little bit harder. I have some really, really big things coming. I can't really let y'all know right now, but trust me, they're big, big things that involve a behind the scenes tour of a Class 3 railroad that y'all may have seen on the channel before. But, uh, yeah. Y'all go help me out, and then please consider donating to my Patreon. Uh, that's also very young right now, but I really need all the help I can to be able to, you know, pay for gas, because gas is just getting so expensive, and it's going to be hard to go do stuff, and I kind of need a little bit of help to go do this kind of stuff. But thank you guys so much for watching. Please stay tuned. We will be going back to Texas State Railroad this summer. We will be going to the Oklahoma Railway Museum again this summer. Maybe going to the Grapevine Vintage Railroad. Just a whole bunch of stuff coming, so please stay tuned, like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and make sure that you don't miss the train. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time.